Yes? Would you mind if I peeked under the blankets to take a... Take Sir, we're not open until 7 a.m. You're not open? What is this, Mervyn's? Sir, the sign says 7 a.m., which means I have eight minutes before we start. I mean, eight minutes? I mean, come on, I'm just trying to, you know... Sir, I have a hose. Do I need to get it? <laughs> you gotta be freaking kidding me. What's with that hair anyway? Mm. Early morning bounty hunter, antique roadshow glory on their minds. Makes me sick. Brings out the worst. Any sign of life from Germain? None. Mm. That's a surprise. Looks like we're on our own. Sell real cheap. Why would I ever do that to myself? I mean, really.
Are you okay? It's all good. Shouldn't you be asleep? I was. And this guy woke me up and he told me to get out of his boat. Are you drunk? Not as much. Spiced rum? I just, I think sailors are cool, you know? Here, have a sip of this. Like someone had a good time last night. Sir, I can still get the hose. You're not a morning person, are you? Sir! You know we took a cruise? On a horn blower across the San Francisco Bay. I watched the sun soak through her hair. And at that moment, I thought that she was put on this earth to be with me. I thought I was put here to be with her. Honey, don't do this to yourself. Look, you got six hours till your shift starts. Let's take you to your bed. I don't want to. My, my bed feels empty, okay? Sweetie, I'd let you sleep in Duke's bed, but Bruce is using it. I want you to know, I appreciate everybody doing this for me. I do. I do. It wasn't my idea. No, it was Carrie's. And I thought it was one of her good ones. I just don't like feeling like, I, feel like I don't feel like I'm a charity case. You are not anybody's charity case. This sort of thing is good to do every now and then. It cleans out the closets. Besides, 850? I mean, your girl's fiery, but she's not a powerhouse. My girl. Come on. I know the way. Jeez, Tyler again? Why don't you just join the Navy? Get it over with. I'm taking him to the pit. I'll be right back. Hey, Bill. Drink lots of water. Will do. So, see anything you like? Hmm, I don't know. Maybe. You let me know. How much for the uh, the coffee grinder? Does it stay on the table? Well, it's on the twelve dollar table, but it's also really you know close to the ten dollar section. Twelve dollars. I mean, how can you be sure? I mean, it's not meant to be on the ten dollar section. Instinct. Instinct. I mean, if you want to offer me ten dollars for the grinder, you can. I don't know if I want it or not. I was just you know. Why would you give it to me for ten? No. You wouldn't? No. It's just a $2 difference. Our yard sales adopted a no haggling policy. Our? You mean you and your girlfriend? No, the entire complex. I mean, she's my wife. <laughs> so what you're saying is the entire complex got together to plan this and adopted a policy? Was it like cookies and refreshments? It was a meeting. As a matter of fact, there was uh, wine and fondue. And actually, it was quite good. Oh, super. You know, this is the most expensive yard sale I've ever seen. There's an Armenian right on the street who's selling all of his stuff for half the price. Yeah, but that's going straight to his pocket. This is for a good cause. Like what, the March of Dimes? No, something more local. Oh, party boy. Oh, this is good. So what did he do? Well, that's personal. Oh, come on. Come on. I'm a customer, I should know. It's personal. Look, you haven't even, you know, I haven't even bought anything yet. Fine. Bill, Bill, I'm sorry, man. We overslept. Hey, Chris. Okay, hello. Thanks. Yeah. I set the alarm last night. I know we did. Hey, things happen. Mm. Mm -hmm. well, I'm gonna go grab Alicia, and we'll be right out. Okay. Oh, no rush. Thanks. Oh. What skull? Uh, no. Poor kid. How's it looking there? Like hammered shit. It's hard to believe such a small space could get so messy in a week. Poor kid. I just don't understand why you're still asking, since by this point it seems irrelevant. What difference does it make? We're up at the stupid crack of dawn. Who cares? Okay, okay, you're right. It just doesn't make sense to me as all. 
It doesn't make sense to me how somehow magically uh, the alarm got shut off last night. Magically? Magically? Yeah. Morning, Alicia. Hey, Bill. Annie. Well, good morning, you two. Aren't you both up bright and early? Yes. Yes, we are. I myself, I love the morning. The promise of a new day filled with possibilities around every corner. <laughs> me, I prefer my bed. Oh, you kids sleep too goddamn much if you ask me. You'd be nice, Henry. He'd be a late sleeper too if he didn't have to urinate every two hours. Must be rough. So, what do we have here? What wares are you offering up today? Looks like crap to me. Somebody else's junk they couldn't stand anymore. Now they're trying to peddle it on the masses. Redistribution of the wealth, my ass. Henry, please. I haven't used my balls in the last 18 years and you don't see them on the fat dollar table. And let's make sure it stays that way, dear. Just think, honey, that could be us. Oh, we should be so lucky. You honestly expect somebody to believe you deserve six bucks for this? Six dollars is a bargain for that. That's an original guardian angel doll. I've had it since I was eight. And when was that, last week? Why don't you go be a grumpy old man somewhere else? Don't pay attention to him, dear. Some old dogs just like to bark, that's all. Hmm. Well, why doesn't he go bark on someone else's lawn? You're right. Uh, let's go before uh, the girl gets her boyfriend to rough you up. You want a piece of me, punk? We're on our way to morning service, but there's nothing that moves the spirit like a little whoop ass. No, I, I don't. Hardest thing you ever did. Well, uh, good morning. Uh, good morning. So did you think that was funny? What? That old man said something about me being eight years old. You laughed. No, I, no, I didn't laugh. Yeah, you did. Right up to the point where he threatened to kick your ass. And then that smile faded quick. Yeah, he did not threaten to kick my ass. <laughs> if he didn't, then I would have been the one laughing. Like I'm gonna fight an old man. H have you even been in a fight? I mean, do you even know how? Misha, will you stop it, okay? I'm sorry that we pulled the morning shift. You probably could whoop your ass. Our names were taken out of a hat just like everyone else, all right? You don't see Bill and Annie complaining, do you? We volunteered. You did? We've been here anyway. We're morning people. Great. So basically, we're the only ones that are here that don't want to be here. No, no, I did not. I did not say that I don't want to be here. Oh, oh, so I'm the only one? <laughs> well, why don't I fix that by going back to bed? I mean, you don't need me here anyway. There's only one shopper, and he's been here longer than me. I'm browsing, all right? Good. Knock yourself out. You agreed to help Trina and Tyler just like everyone else did. And I have. I pulled out all my old clothes. I... I my guardian angel doll, my textbooks. What? 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 I've helped, okay? Wouldn't you like to think that, that if something like this happened to us, that, that the people that we live with, our neighbors, would, would help us, you know, if they could? Yes. Sure. That'd be great. You're right. And then we could all build a barn and drink lemonade. It doesn't change the fact that I'm out here at 7.30 in the morning just because Trina and Tyler had some stupid fight that shouldn't have even happened in the first place. No, Tyler no. needs to realize that just because his girl isn't that Snow White angel that he thought she was, that he can just call her names. It's a shame she wasn't a better target. I mean, <laughs> my God, it's not like you thought I was a virgin when we got together. No, there was definitely no doubt in my mind about that. Really? And do you have some complaints you feel the need to express? No. Yeah. I don't think so. I mean, do you think that Trina does that schoolgirl thing with the hairbrush to Tyler? Something tells me she does it.
Can we get that plate for eight dollars? Uh, no, we're not coming down on it. In any fact, price. I'd sell it to you for two dollars. Uh, no, she wouldn't. Yes, um, I would. We're not gonna. Yes, lower. I would. Two dollars and it's yours. I'm bargaining. Uh, the policy. I'm bargaining. <clears throat> Alicia. What about you? What about me? Do you see anything on this table you like? Actually, how much for the two bracelets? It says five dollars each, so uh, four for both. And the black tie? A buck. And the Elton John box set? I don't. Two. Huh. <laughs> Chip change? That'd be eight, and you said... No. Thank you, it's a bargain. You know, Alicia, um, come to think of it, uh, we probably don't need both of us to be out here, and um, I'll take over for the ship. be my pleasure. Again. Hey, don't get mad at me, it's not my policy. Come here, you leech! Annie, he's daring me to do it! Let it go, let it go. Water under the bridge. Okay. Okay. Good. Huh? disagree with his choices, that's not what I'm saying. What are you saying? I'm just, I wouldn't have been top on my list, you know what I mean? It's a, ma it's a matter of uh, preference, but for me, it wouldn't have been, that's what I'm saying. It says a lot about her as an artist. It's something you can't take away from her. I wouldn't want to. Excuse me, what is this? What is that? Look, that's what I'm asking you, what is this? Where'd you get that? I just picked it up off the table. Well, you can't just take it, you have to pay for it. Well, I know that. I just, I just want to know what it is. It's on the five-dollar table, isn't it? I didn't ask how much it was. Did you bring I that with you? If you're asking us to sell that for you, it's, it's a definite no because we got enough of our own stuff right here, obviously. I didn't bring it with me. I just want to know what it is. What is it? Do you know? Do you? We can't sell anybody else's stuff, right? No. Sorry. I think, I think she was upset when she got here. Yeah, she yeah. must have been. Definitely. I wanna be high. Thanks guys, thanks. That's right, I don't know about you, but I know I'm feeling easy on this Sunday morning. beautiful Sunday morning it is. My name is Carrie and playing back up with me today is Clint and we think that today is just the perfect day to get to know your neighbors and contribute to a worthy cause. We've got a long way to go to fill our quota for the day so let's dig into those pockets and add a little decoration to our lives shall we? And what do we have available today? Over here on the $10 table, I see a host of valuable merchandise. Look at these collector edition Norman Rockwell plates with authenticity certified by the Franklin Mint. Jennifer, have you had any luck pushing these finely crafted pieces of Americana? No, none. 
Well, the day's not over yet, is it? In fact, we've only just begun to live. Norman Rockwell commemorative plate, patriotic and so beautiful. Thanks, guys. That's right. I was just talking to my roommate, Jennifer, a moment ago. Jennifer, take a bow. But we're not alone. On the cell phone, we also have D-Dub and Aaron. Oh, and look, we also have Dick. Watch your back, ladies. He might not look like much, but the next thing you know, you might find yourself a Bob's Bitten Boy in Toluca Lake waiting for an hour because somebody forgot they had a dermatology appointment. How's that skin working out for you, Dick? Looks like you might want to go back. But hey, we're still rocking and rolling here, and the next song Clayton and I would like to do for you is a little favorite of ours. Bob's big boy? My God, man, if you had to stay in the valley, why don't you take her to Casa Vegas or Hugo's? I mean, <laughs> rockabilly milkshakes and t-shirts, there's no class in that. <laughs> unless, unless he knew already he was gonna cut her loose. Is that what you were doing? Mm. Uh huh? Guys, look, I, I had an appointment I totally forgot about. God, I happened you had to be an in the appointment area. with Vanessa Williams. You two were gonna get together and talk hygiene and you lost all track of time, right? Come Pretty on, much. man, we're your friends. You could have called us. I could have suggested a Taco Bell in NoHo or the City Walk. Oh, the City Walk. There you go. Make them pay eight bucks for parking and then stand them <laughs> up. That's what I say, huh? Hey, can I pay for this? Why don't you go fuel this one there, proactive boy, huh? You think about what you did. Yeah? yeah. Habeas corpus. Habeas corpus. Habeas corpus. Habeas corpus. Love that kid. Hi. I mean, good morning. Is it a little too hot out here for you? <laughs> uh, no, I'm okay. Oh yeah, you look okay to me too. Thanks. <laughs> I really like your shirt. You do? I made it myself. I mean, I made a few adjustments to it. Well, you did a very nice job. You wouldn't mind if I saw the back. <laughs> you know, maybe give me a little twirl. Ta da! <laughs> very, very nice. I like your style. And I like yours. Um, hmm. I have a few more for sale. If if you know anybody would be interested, I'm, I think they might be a little tight on you. Not that that would be a bad thing. Oh, you don't mind tight? No, I actually prefer it. Tight. Is that right? And, uh... <laughs> what are we talking about? <laughs> I was just admiring... Jennifer. Oh! <laughs> Jennifer's wardrobe and... General sense of style all together. <laughs> General sense of style. Hmm. Well, uh, Jennifer, let me see. Uh, well, don't pay attention to him. <laughs> He's always been a dramatic one. No, no, no. It's, a, it's definitely a, a nice <laughs> piece of real estate, you know, with extensive possibilities. I'd do her. Can we go now? I told Brandon Lex we'd be at Crest at 9.30. It's already way past 10. Come on, we're right on time. Jennifer, thank you very much. It was very nice to meet you. Nice to meet you, too. <laughs> Bye. I hate this part of town. 
But, sir, like I said, we don't haggle. And stop calling me, sir. What is that? We're the same age, for God's sakes. People don't say sir as a sign of respect anymore. It means they're calling you an asshole. What'd you prefer, chief, buddy, dude, bra? I would prefer that you stop dicking me around with some policy that tells me that you don't have any willingness to do actual business. Hey man, we got a cause. Did you not see our visual aid? Yes, I saw the visual aid. I also saw the girl on the microphone kick you in the balls in front of everybody here. There's barely eight people here. Eight people that now know a little too much about your business. All of which is irrelevant to the matter at hand, which is this. I want the Mark Twain statuette with Huck Finn, Tom Sawyer, and the third kid. His name's Joe Harper. It reminds me of summertime with my brothers at my dad's house. I don't want to have to pay $20 for it. And you're telling me there's some policy you need to follow that uh, isn't allowing us to do business. I think that's lame. Whoa, 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 whoa. Richard, you trying to sell this? Trying to. Where'd you get it? D-Dub donated it. D-Dub. Did you put this out? Yeah, sure did. Without asking me? It was on the kitchen table since Wednesday, man. You had five days to veto. Well, you know, I uh, guess I just didn't see it. We can't sell this. Uh, it's too late for that now. We're already making the deal, right? Just trying to. Richard, we can't sell this. My mother gave me this. Okay, now for whatever reason, some six years later out of the blue, she's asking for it back. I don't know, something about river rafting. A little late, don't you think? No, actually I don't, see, because this is still in our possession. We don't have to sell you anything. What about the cause? Hey, I'm off for the cause. I mean, Tyler's a great guy, you know? He's funny, too. Remember this time he did this imitation about uh, Weaver getting a DJ on the <laughs> yeah, porch? <laughs> I remember that, yeah. <laughs> Yeah, that was funny. Oh man, so funny, I blew Heineken out my nose. <laughs> he looked Never like done he, that. He looked like he had flat anxiety the way he bent it. <laughs> it was funny. It was very funny. Yeah, man, so don't tell me about the cause, okay? You know what? How much are you asking for this? 20 bucks. 20 bucks. Hell, I'll give you 20 right now just to buy my own statue back. Too late, too late. I, I was about to give him 20 bucks. We agreed. I, I, I was trying to. You know what? It's mine. I'm taking it back, and I don't need your permission. I'll pay 30. You trying to be a wise ass? No. no. I'll pay 30. You just heard me tell you about my mother. You think you can just up me 10 bucks and everything's gonna go away? 40. <laughs> this guy just doesn't get it. 50 bucks. No disrespect to your mother. You can tell her it was sold before uh, you got a chance to get it back. I've been looking for one with a third kid. His name is Joe Harper. And are you suggesting that I lie to my mother? I would never do that. Sixty. Let me see it. Getting off easy. I think it's something to tell her. Go on, get out of here. Habeas corpus. Habeas corpus. Habeas corpus. Habeas corpus. How much are you asking for the shirts? Uh, they're twelve dollars each. Do you like them? Oh, I love them. They're absolutely ghastly. <laughs> Who on earth would think that this would look good on anyone other than a pair of drag queens? It's mm. beyond me. Mm. I designed them myself. Did you? Oh, you're very talented. Thanks. Uh, Striker, take your shirt off. Why did you tell me to take my shirt off? Shut up. Put this on. Does that feel good up against your body? 
Yes, it does. Ooh, and Daddy likes it. Oh, yes, he does. I uh, have a matching one if you're interested. Hold this. They don't call it a donkey show, though. I mean, oh, some dude. Of oh. Oh, dude, tell Bruce I stop, okay? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so, um, what do you think? I don't know. Striker, what do you think? You promised you'd buy me something. Oh, I know I did, Daddy, but you were also looking at that pink dinosaur. I like the one at home better. Uh, how much for the shirts? That'll be twenty-four. Twenty dollars! Okay, fine. Twenty dollars. Nobody ices the striker. Well, no, they don't, Daddy. The shade goes down. The shade goes down. The shade goes down. Thank you, thank you very much. Clint and I are just gonna take a little break, but we'll be right back in just a few minutes with another set. So don't nobody go nowhere. Thanks. How we doing? We're not pulling our quota, Jen. I know. The morning shift? Didn't pull their quota either. This isn't the kind of start we want for this thing, Jen. I know, I'm trying. Okay, I mean, we need to pull in at least $100 each. Eight apartments, $800. I don't think that's very hard, is it, Jen? No, I don't think that it is. Hey, it's not very hard. It's really not hard. Okay, I mean, it's just that Mr. Sizemore is going to be here, and we're not going to have the money by the end of the day, and I don't want Tyler to have to move out. I mean, he's just such a sweet guy. Don't you think yeah, he's sweet, yeah, Jen? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I think Tyler is really sweet, and I, I like Trisha, too. Yeah, I guess. She's all right. Didn't surprise me about the whole status thing. Carrie! Well, I mean, I'm sorry. There's just something about her. I don't know. I have a sense of these types of things. I'm like a bat. I wonder how the boys are doing. I don't know. How you guys doing? Aaron, we're up to $97. Not bad, boys. Not bad at all. You know, Richard just made a, a $60 sale. Did he? Yeah. Funny, Richard. I don't remember seeing a $60 table. Can you explain to me how you managed that one? I didn't really actually... No, uh, you didn't really agree with the whole policy on what you see is what you pay. Or was it just a personal attack on me? No. I, no, you not... know what? Just save it. Because I'm not going to waste my time standing here... Whatever. <laughs> you want us to make some room for you in the pool? No, I'm cool. I just ate. Excuse me? Hi there. Hey. Can you guys Hello. tell me how to get to Dodger Stadium from here? Where? Dodger Stadium. Dodger Stadium? Yeah. Do you know how to get there from here? Yeah, I think so. I know you're not it... that far. I mean, it's not that far. Uh -oh. No. Oh, uh, you need to find Rowena. No, no, no. That's right. Yeah. Uh, no. But first you gotta jump on the, make sure you jump, make sure you jump on the Fletcher. No, no. no. no yes, she, Fletcher. She has to get the Fletcher. Please. Well, you're gonna get all the way over here to Rowena, flip it, reverse it, be very quiet as you hierarchy over the bridge to Fletcher. High tide on Riverside, baby. That's true. That baby. part's true. So Rowena. So hey, what do you got? You gonna get yourself some uh, Dodger dogs, huh? Yep. 
probably. That's the tradition, right? Is it tradition to just call them what they are? Because, I mean, really, they're just cholesterol suppositories if you think about it. I mean, not to mention they just, they lived in these confined little lives and you're ingesting their cells. And they literally consume and live in their own feces and the feces of other decaying animals that are ground up and fed. You know, but really, why wouldn't you associate that with an athletic activity? So, you know, I don't want to drain on your family tradition. Or you could just get some Krispy Kremes. Ooh, I always oh, get at least yeah. a box. Mm -hmm. I could use some Krispy Kremes. Okay, you know what? I think I got it. Thank you very much. No problem. Good. Good luck. Think, real. think blue. Think blue. Absolutely. Feels good to help. Not too bad. I can see why you waited to bring them out. Yeah. You never know what these tourists are going to let things go for. Mm. Most of them don't even know the difference between an original release and a Happy Meal box prize. <laughs> and you're actually willing to sell this stuff? Oh, yeah. Yeah, I'd sell it. I'd sell it for the right price. But I thought you didn't like Tyler. I got nothing against Tyler. I got something against Trisha. Not that much, from what I've heard. <laughs> Oh. How much for the Yoda <laughs> ornament? It's not quite as simple as all that. It's all relative. It's not just an ornament. It's a mythically renowned figure giving praise to an already established socio-religious hierarchy, and it's very special. It's a Christmas tree decoration, and they're stupid. They're not stupid. You hang them on your tree once a year, then you put them back in the box. What's the point? It's, you can't play with it. You certainly can. I don't doubt that you can make play with anything given enough time, but all I'm saying is give me an action figure any day. Well, I have action figures. But you're not taking them out of the packaging. Well, they're worth more that way. Worth more to who? Not you. You bought them so that one day in the future they may be worth something. But all they're doing is collecting dust and reminding you of things you never got to play with when you was a kid. Well, that's why I'm selling it. You aren't selling anything. You're just flexing. Let me have your attention for a moment. Because you're talking about... You're talking about what? Some deal you shot? Some son of a bitch don't want to buy land? Some broad you're trying to screw so forth? Let's talk about something important. Put that Capri Sun down now! That Capri Sun's for closers. Your name Levine? My name's Taylor. You call yourself a salesman, you son of a bitch? Daddy. Oh, what are you doing? What are you, baby, 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 don't throw this stuff on the table like that one. Don't throw it on the table like that. You see this? You see when you throw it like that? You know what this is worth? It's worth 25 cents, it's worth a quarter, okay? Now when you do it, you do it like this, you know what I mean? You separate them a little bit, it's worth two dollars. You know what I'm saying? Yes, yeah, why don't you try it, do a little bit. You know, set up nice, do it something nice with that, yeah. Hey, there it is, it's beautiful, it's beautiful. And you're doing it with class, huh? You're doing it with class. Hey, mama, where's the rest of this? What are you doing? What are you doing? What is this? Hey, what is this? Oh, mama, this is the reason why we're having the sale in the first place, to get rid of this stuff, not keep it. It just sits in my place. You come over, you don't even play with it. But I want it. It's mine. Well, if you want it so bad, would well, you bring it over to my place for, huh? Look, the fact of the matter is, is your mother brought this stuff over to my place because, you know, it just takes up space in our house, and now it's just taking up space in mine. Come on. That's me. Look, I'm sorry, babe. Look, come here. I'm sorry, forgive me, okay? I'm, I'm sorry. Look, let's, let's just sell this stuff, please. Come on, be fun, huh? Let's make money, huh? Look, we got a lot of great stuff here. Look, we got the, uh, the dissect me Frankenstein, right? We got this, uh, the, my pink sister, huh? My pink sister, you remember how long I waited for this broad? I waited a long time for this girl, look. 
put it right here. Look, we got the cash register. There's a lot of stuff where we can make a lot of money, okay? And I'll tell you what, on top of all of this, whatever we make, I'll take you to Chuck E. Cheese. How's that sound? No, I want to give my money to Tyler. You want to give your money? That's not a problem. Look, that's not a problem. I confront that, huh? That's no big deal. These are your toys. You keep the money, all right? What Tyler doesn't know ain't going to hurt him, huh? Look, this is what got us here in the first place. You remember that? With the hymen, Daddy. Oh, what kind of talk is that? I heard some guys over by the pool talking hey, about- Hey, forget about it. Forget about that. That's not for you, okay? That's not for you. These are your toys, babe. These are your toys. You're keeping the money. No, I want to give my money to Tyler. You know, for a little girl, for a little girl, you're a real gentleman. You got a lot of class, and I respect that, okay? I'll tell you what. Why don't we just sell this stuff, okay? We'll give the money to this guy. We'll take the money, I'll match it out of my own pocket, okay? My own bookaroos. I'll take you to Chuck E. Cheese. How's that sound, huh? I wanna go to the zoo. You wanna go to the zoo? Then we'll go to the zoo! Hey, we'll go see the monkeys, right? Do me the little monkey thing, do a little monkey thing, huh? Hey, there it is there. That's my girl right there. That's my girl. That's my... Hey, babe, 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 babe. Be cool. Be cool. I'm calm. Are you calm? Mm-hmm. Okay, cool. Remember, A, B, C. Remember, I taught you this. You've been training for this your whole life. A, B, C. Always be closing. Always be closing. All right? Give me a kiss. You call it a kiss, I can take it on the ass. Come on, give me a kiss. There it is. Let little, me a little taste. A little taste. I, I love you. Tell me you love me. I love you. Yeah, you love me. That's right. Tell me you love me again. I love you. I love you too. All right? Now shut up, listen, and learn. Okay? I have one question for you. What are we? We're Garcias. You're damn straight. We're Garcias. This is how we do, okay? Remember this. Never forget this. Two words. Distract and extract. ¿Qué pasó? ¿Qué pasó? ¿Qué pasó? ¿Qué pasó? ¿Cómo están? ¿Cómo están? ¿Cómo están? ¿Cómo están todos? ¡Qué bueno! ¡Qué bueno! ¡Qué bueno! ¡Oh, Mr. President! ¡Long time no see you! ¿How are you? I cannot sleep in the night. I sleep without shoes. I wake up, my pants unbuttoned. How are you? You know Japanese. No news, good news. Oh! 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 Look at this. How much this piece of junk? You know, that's a real good question, you know what I mean? It's very close to me. And as a matter of fact, it's in my mother's name. Taylor, how much you think Nana wants for this, uh, this radio? Beautiful, twenty-two dollars, no tax. If I have two dollars, stay in this area. You gotta understand. I'm like the Japanese. You know what I mean? I'm very superstitious. You know, if I don't sell this to you, you gotta understand. If I don't sell it to you, that only makes me look bad, but it makes my daughter look bad. It makes my whole family look bad. Okay? And I'm not a salesman. All right? I'm a salesperson. All right? So why don't you take it for twenty? How's that sound? Well, how much twenty pesos? Oh, I love this guy. Oh, he's coming up with the great one-liners. I love him. I love him. I wasn't leaving you out, huh? You look wonderful too, Jerry. Oh, I, look at this, look at this. Oh, oh, have you seen Bing John Malkovich, huh? I wish there was a portal to call this baby. Baby, come here, come here. We need some luck today. Look around us, there's nobody here. Rub up, rub up, baby. Rub it up, rub it up, baby. Rub it up like yourself like it's cologne, huh? Rub it up like it's, don't be shy. Don't be shy with it. Why are you doing that? More effective way of replenishing liquids. A lot less dense than water. Did you read that somewhere? No. It's not the most attractive system ever invented. Too late for that anyway. Why do you think I still follow this sort of thing? My fantasy life is all I've got. Does the Millennium Falcon light up? Yes. How much? I don't know. I'm, maybe, uh... Spare me your emotional involvement with it and just give me a price. $25. $25? Man, you're sick. I was thinking maybe 10 10 Don't insult me with $10. This is the Millennium Falcon, by far the coolest spaceship ever designed. I mean, with its asymmetrical cockpit and its split hull construction, it's hardy, yet sleek. Your mom bought it for you as a stocking stuffer from Hallmark some six years ago. And at the time it was, what, $8.99? You're nuts if you think I'm paying $25 for that. I'll give you $22. But you live with him. I know. 
and I've been admiring it for years. I'll go with 22. Te quiero, ¿cómo estás, presidente? Ay, mira, la ruca, ¿cómo estás? ¿Cómo te ves? Dame un beso, man. No, man. Hey, don't get out of line. What are you doing? ¿Cómo estás? ¿Cómo está todo? ¿Cómo te puedo ayudar? Dígame, dígame. No problema. ¿Sirve? Este viciar aquí, este viciar sirve para dos cosas. ¿Ok? Sí, tú puedes usarlo para... Para ver, para ver películas, ¿tú sabes? Y también, y este no te voy a cobrar más por esto, ¿ok? Este también, mira, fíjate en esto, mira. Puedes usarlo para matar a su esposa, ¿ah? Está bien así. ¿Cuánto? Eh, dame. Ah, está quebrado. Dame 20 dólares. Estás loco, me. Oh. Me insultas así como. Como Estás nunca. Loco. Mira, 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 ven, ven, ven. Háblame con confianza. ¿Ah? ¿Cómo soy un eh, policía de Tijuana? ¿Dónde vas? Come on, dame beso. ¿We did I hate kill my wife? I've always been a Spock man myself. Over Han Solo? Absolutely. You're nuts. Han Solo is by far the baddest ass in the galaxy, hands down. I disagree. Han Solo was a pirate and a scoundrel. I'm proud of it too. Well, damn proud. I prefer the intellectual types who solve their problems with reasoning and logic. Spock would never go into a room guns blazing unless it was the absolute last resort. Solo was always looking for a fight. <laughs> the fight always came looking for Solo. He just finished them. He'd take Spock in a fight. There's no way. Vulcans have superior strength. <laughs> Not that superior. And Spock's half Vulcan. He's got you there. <laughs> Spock would take Solo's best punch then pinch him in the neck and he'd be out cold. He'd never get close to his neck. Solo's no dummy. Han Solo has one thing that Spock doesn't have. Passion. All the neck pinching in the world can't match the passion that man had in his heart. He was frozen solid like a rock. And did he give up? No. He came back. His passion brought him back. The passion of the solo. Hey. Yeah. What, did he rise from the dead? Did he? Spock did. In a selfless act, he took his life to save his crew. The man died and came back. Now, rising from the dead, may be a little bit less of a rare occurrence on Vulcan as it is on Earth, but it's still pretty rare. He's got you there. You know, that was a technicality. What was? Spock's resurrection. He was on Genesis. So? So, if any of us were dead and put in a torpedo and shot onto Genesis, we'd be reborn too. It was more like a right time, right place. If Han Solo had been dead on Genesis, he would have been reborn just as well. And if that hot Vulcan broad Savick would have been around when he was going through his speed puberty, <laughs> she'd have got bent over. Ha <laughs> <laughs> ha! That's a movie I gotta see. Hell yeah! <laughs> Attention, interest, decision, action. Mercy is for the weak. We do not train to be merciful here. Look at this guy. I want you to go up to him. I want you to take every single dollar out of his pocket, okay? Go get him. Go get him. I have the tiger. I have the tiger. So, what are you, good cop? No, I'm Taylor. Oh, hello, Taylor. So, how much What's for the- What's your name? Uh, my name is Brett, I'm sorry. How much are you asking for the Hot Wheels uh, lunchbox? Mmm, two dollars. 
Two dollars. Yeah, well, that sounds like a fair price. I gotta buy that shoe. Well, where's the other one? Mm, it's only two dollars. All right, I guess I'll buy the shoe too. But you have to buy this little yellow bag. Now wait a second. See that thing's a fanny pack. I don't want. It'll look good on you. Besides, you could put the shoe in it. <laughs> All right. So there you go. You know you're a really good sales girl. I'm not a sales girl. I'm a sales person. Oh. Okay. Well. I'll take the fanny pack then. But... But... You have to buy my little pink sister. Wait, wait, wait. You want to sell me your little pink sister? I don't want to, but my dad wants me to. Yeah. He says that I don't play with her anymore, and that we could use the money to go to the zoo. Yeah, but you see, sweetie, I'm probably not going to play with her either. But she's really smart, and her name is Candace, and she likes to go to the beach. All right, well, you know, I, I like to go to the beach, too, so how much for the doll? Twenty dollars. <laughs> Twenty dollars? That's a lot of money. I fun enough for you. You know, I don't know what I'd do. I wasn't... Okay, so how much is it going to be for the whole thing? That would be... Twenty-seven dollars. Twenty-seven dollars? Sweetie, I wasn't planning on spending more than ten dollars. Hey, don't you shop shoot my little girl pal, huh? I see your spot slip, but you see this watch? Huh? What, you what, see this what? watch? What? What? What is go up or come down? H, I give you five dollar for this. So whatever, just take it, take it. Go ahead, go ahead. Okay. Adios. Adios. Did he dry gulch you? Huh? Did he? Hey, no excuse for getting dry gulch. No excuse. Remember, ABC, I've been telling you five years old, always be closing. This guy, he's a piece of nothing. What are you doing? Huh? This guy, no class, he no respect. And I got a tip. Oh, what'd you, babe, did you pick his pockets? Now shut up, listen, and learn. No man walks on the lot lest he wants to buy. Damn, girl, you rolled them real good, didn't you? That's how we do. You're damn straight, that's how we do. Do a little thing, do a little thing I taught you. There it is, there it is, beautiful. I love you. Hello? Uh, that's quite a collection you have here. Do you mind if I uh, take a look here? Are you serious? Absolutely. I think all you need is one glove. Yeah, okay. It's uh, real nice. Mm -hmm. Nothing like Christmas without Star Trek swag. Uh, how much do you want for them? Thirty dollars. Thirty dollars? That's a lot. You think he's worth thirty dollars? Absolutely. I can't imagine anyone would normally pay that much money for this. But I like it. 30 bucks, huh? I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Did I say $30? I meant 40. $40? Yeah, 45. Absolutely. $45, you're sure? I don't think he's worth $45. Yeah, well, uh, hey, it's a free market now, isn't it? If you don't like it, you can take your business elsewhere. Yeah. No, I think I will. Would you like the glove back? Please.
But I say to myself, this is not the kind of woman that you'd approach with that polite, standoffish, coy manner that lets them know that, you know, you're the kind of guy that wants to party all the time, when in fact, really, you are. You're just using a different kind of tact. I wouldn't insult you like that. What I say is this. Uh, we skip all that and go right to plan A. Well, I'll show up at your place around nine, I'll bring the wine, you'll have dinner ready, and uh, we'll both be a lot better off in the long run. <laughs> so the mug's two bucks? That's it. Thanks. Well, I had to give it a shot. Did you? You you just had to. But sometimes they fold. It's like the five mile line. You throw it out there far enough and uh, you're bound to get something. You're a pig. Uh, I don't know. What about you, kid? How's the head? It hurts, thank you. Don't thank me. I didn't tell you to go get shit-faced drunk off your ass last night. You're the one that put the bottle at my door. Oh, well, I wasn't using it. How much for this picture frame? The prices on the table? No. I thought we had prices on the tables. Hey, wait a minute. Isn't that you in the photo? <laughs> That's you. I thought it was the picture that came with the frame. <laughs> Tyler, why'd you put that out there? You can't sell that. I don't want it anymore. She's really beautiful. You guys make a great couple. Me. You know, uh, you're pretty beautiful yourself. I think the three of us make a great couple. You are just creepy. Ladies, I'm sorry, that's not for sale. No, sell it. I don't want it anymore. Shut up, why are you being such a baby? It's not for sale. Can I just give you the picture back and still buy the frame? No. Thanks. I'd like to apologize for the uh, behavior of my rude associates here by, um, I'm feeling very sorry for your disappointment. I just thought that maybe. Tyler, how can you do that? That's so insensitive. Oh, you think that's insensitive? Do you want to hear what I think's insensitive? No, I don't. Actually, I've heard it all before. When I look at this picture, I see a couple that are in love. Two people that found each other, that's what I see. Well, yeah, that's what I see, so what's the problem? It's all a lie, that's the problem. How is it a lie? You can just when I tell that bitch picture, to kiss my ass. That have... I don't really need any of it. If she thinks that she's the only stage in this town, she's got another thing coming. I mean, I, I have to perform. I, I am turning down performances in this town, let alone Vegas. I mean, the Stardust, the Stardust wants me to headline in August and July both. So any reservations that bitch has regarding my sense of vision, she can just stuff it right up his prissy little ass. How much? Five dollars. Hey, didn't I give that to you for Christmas? Yes, you did. You know what, Beamer, whatever. Listen, I'm hungover. It's much surely even be talking about this stuff this early. I'll be home in like five minutes, okay? And, and then we'll talk it over. Okay, bye. Fag. I've got a, a robe and two dresses. All righty. How much? Eight for the dresses and five for the robe. Thirteen dollars. I've only got twenty. Do you have change? Uh, no, we don't. Anything else you like? <laughs> no. Can you hold them for me and I'll come back later with we're gonna, change? We're gonna close up soon. No. Already, why? I mean, it's, it's barely two o'clock. We've been here since seven. And I went to bed at 8 a.m. Fucking sue me. Can we maybe trade something? Um, 
I'm sure I can think of something, you know. What do you got there? A little greenery? Works for me. It's a deal. What works? <laughs> I, what are you talking about? You two are ridic ridiculous. Better save me some. We really did make a great couple. What is this past tense crap? God, you're so melodramatic. Are you seriously telling me that that's it? Like you want nothing else to do with her ever again? That's exactly what I'm saying. And your reason is? I can't trust her. You're talking like she cheated on you or something. It feels like she did. Just because she said she was a virgin and it turns out that she's not? It is not as simple as that. Yes, Tyler, it is. She told me that I was her first. Okay, she flat out told you that, or maybe she somewhat led you to believe that. What, what difference does it make? What does it matter? It matters. The difference is, is that, you know what, maybe you were just her, her you were her first love or her, or her first real connection. I don't know. I mean, I'm sure that there were some things that you were her first for. And just because it wasn't with her virginity doesn't mean that it's not as equally as important. Geez, what, was she your first? Yes, she was. Oh, that's so sweet. It's not sweet. Don't tell me that's what this is all about. Oh my God, what, is she tainted goods? You guys have been together for three years now. I don't think you've actually been saving it for marriage. No, we haven't been saving ourselves. I didn't think so. I'm not gonna sit here and apologize for feeling special that the woman that I love is the only person that knows me in that way, on those private, intimate terms. That's something that I held very special to me. You know she still is the only one. I am not her only one. Yes, you are. Did she even tell you about this guy? No, and I don't want to know. Well, she told me. I, I don't care. She was a junior in high school, Tyler. I mean, it was like she, it was the summer when she went away to some Bible camp. Look, Christy, I swear to God, I don't want to hear this. She'd only known the guy for like three weeks, and he invited her to some sort of social dance and got her all drunk, and she passed out, and he took advantage of I her. I don't want to hear this. She's not even sure if anything really happened. Well, it happened enough. She was with me for three years and never told me. We walk in and meet this guy randomly at Coffee Bean. She is so freaked out by what happened. She doesn't speak to me for the rest of the day. Oh, and doesn't that tell you something? Like, mm, I don't know, maybe you should be the concerned, understanding boyfriend? I was concerned. I would not let up until she told me what happened. Oh yeah, and um, what was it that you said again exactly? I don't want to talk about that right now. You couldn't have been there for her fully now, could you? Oh no, you had to put yourself first and then said a pretty mean, rotten comment that I'm not even going to justify by repeating. I apologize to her for that, okay? Oh yeah, and as you're so quickly to point out, sometimes when things are said, they're not so easy to take back, are they? You're right. You made her feel dirty, Tyler. I mean, like she wasn't even special. A girl wants to be open and free, especially with the guy that she's intimate with. She wants to feel like she's a princess. You guys are good together. I mean, really good. God knows you're miserable apart. I don't know if she is. Oh, she's miserable too. Jeez. Have you talked to her? Yeah. How is she? She misses you. Man. She hopes that you forgive her, and I'm sure that, you know what? She'd be willing to forgive you. This is so stupid. Maybe you should actually grow a pair and think about giving her a call. Yeah, maybe. Oh, man. What? Uh, it's Sizemore, dude. I am so out of here.
This is very nice. This is quite the spread. Hello, Mr. Sesma. Hello, Tyler. How's your sale going? It's all right, you know, we've, we've sold a good amount, so. Well, I talked to my guy. Okay. And he says that 850 is gonna come in a little high. Yeah. Maybe he can do the job for 770. How much you got? There's only about 300, maybe 350 here. That's everything. Couldn't you hit your folks up for money or something? My mom doesn't have it. It's not that much money, it's like $400. No, it's like 450. Why can't I just give it to you a little bit each month with my rent? Talia, you know, you're putting me in an awkward position here. I don't like being a bad guy. But it's not a question of bad, it's not a question of good, it's a question of business. It says in the lease, clearly, any damages caused by the tenant have to be repaired by you, and you got seven days to do it, and today is day eight. I understand that, Mr. Sizemore. I still don't have it. Okay? Have you asked Trina? Maybe has she contacted her folks? I haven't talked to her. You two haven't spoken at all? <laughs> Mrs. Sizemore and I are divorced for seven years, Tyler, and from time to time I still talk to her. Yeah. Yeah, but you're young. Maybe it's better that you that you found another place to live. I mean, could you even afford the rent now that the two of you aren't together? Probably not. Mm. Well, you know, sometimes life gives you lemons. But don't worry about it. You know, you're going to bounce back. I know it. Maybe you'll, you'll get yourself a, a nice little single in, in Glendale somewhere. Great. Yeah. How much is that... Uh, that coffee grinder. Four fifty? <laughs> oh, that'd be ironic, huh? <laughs> it would, wouldn't it? <laughs> what the hell is she doing here? That woman always haunts me. Hello, Tyler. Hello, Hello Mr. Sizemore. Hello, Helen. It's funny to see you in this neighborhood, you know. No, actually not. There's a, uh, there's a building for sale down the way, and I'm thinking of buying it. You're becoming a regular Leona Helmsley. Well, a girl needs something to depend on. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Isn't that Troy's dog? No, he's mine. Mm -hmm. Troy gave him to me. A pet from your pet. Be civil, Glenn. So, what are you boys doing here? Are you cleaning out the closets? This is a lot of stuff for one person. It's actually from the whole building. Oh, it is. You still you still live in the pit, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, I used to. Ah, you used to. You having trouble covering the rent? What? Property damage. Oh, do tell. I broke the water main. The water main. The water main that runs all across the center of the pit, that water main? Yeah. How on earth did you manage that? I don't think it's any of your concern, Helen. Huh? Um, Trina and I got into a fight, so she threw a, water, uh, a wine bottle at me, and I ducked and it hit it. And it caused the, what was it, the special something valve to burn, I don't know what it was. He, he told me what it was. <laughs> Uh, how much are you charging him? Like I said, Helen, I don't think it's any of your concern. Eight fifty. How much? Eight fifty. Seven seventy. Seven seventy. It, it's just. Glenn, an, are you mad? It's just an estimate. Just an estimate. 
You know, the water main, if I remember correctly, you had the water main replaced in, I believe, 1992 by a tenant whom you had to get rid of because he was growing a small plantation in the basement while it was still a basement, correct? Yeah, and, and what's the point? Okay, first of all, flying wine bottles do not break water mains. Secondly, you had the job done wrong the first time. You're lucky it lasted this long. You are. How much did you give him? A little over $300. All right, this, you take this, Glenn. This will cover the valve. You have no business getting the rest covered by these young kids. No, 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 no. No, Helen, no, this is not the way it's gonna be. Hmm? No, you lost the privilege of telling me what to do seven years ago when you walked out on me. Every month you get your alimony checks on time, and that's the extent of my obligation to you. Is that so? Yeah, that's so. Tyler, would you be a dear and take little Wicket to the side yard for me? Of course. Helen, I've got nothing to say to you. The boy and I have a lease agreement. He's in violation of it. Glenn. Glenn, Glenn, Glenn. Troy and I haven't really been speaking for about, oh, three months. I think he was maybe passing fad that just sort of lasted a little too long. Yes, so what does that have to do with me? Glenn, you have a very generous side. I've seen it. Mm -hmm. Yes, you do. And frankly, I find it very sexy. You do? Oh, yeah. I don't know. Glenn, are you feeling generous? Yeah, yeah I'm feeling generous. You take the money for the valve. You cover the rest. Then I need you to go home and shower. And then I will come over about 7 o'clock and maybe you can show me some of your generous side. I can? Mm -hmm. Seven o'clock. Mm -hmm. All right, I'll have the wine. You have dinner ready. I promise you, we will both be better off in the long run for this. Hey, kid. Tell you what. Forget about it. All right? Lesson learned. Take this. There's still about $300 in here. You kids go have a good time. Go have a party or something. That's it. We're, we're square. Yeah, even Stevens. It's a really nice frame. They make a great couple. Do you think so? 
Yeah, I think so. How much are you selling it for? It's not for sale. No? It's good to hear. Asymmetrical hull and it's split hull can, with its asymmetrical. Take it again, take it, put it back. I... Spock would never go into a room gun bl guns blazing. Spock would never go into a room gun bl guns fuck. Yeah! How come did this? Okay, thank you. Mr. President, long time no see you. How are you? I cannot sleep. I'm sorry, dude. I got totally dizzy on that. Just a poor boy alone in this world. You're just a poor boy alone in this world. It's wake up time. Time to open up your eyes. Rise and shine. I have the job done poorly the first time, I'm and you know what? It's plaguing <laughs> me. Who's this line? Who's the writer? Open up your 
up your eyes.